just a couple minutes time, we will be starting a thing. It will be fun. It will be epic. It will be unlike anything you have seen before because no one else is crazy enough to do this. So yeah, this big, beautiful instrument here is called the marimba, probably started in Northwestern Africa. Different versions across Africa. Uh, Africa eventually made its way to Latin America. Uh, different versions across Latin America. We kind of got into it as a classical instrument. We are playing zero classical music today. If you want to see us do classical music, find us somewhere else, not here. That's not what we're gonna do. We are gonna be incredibly silly, be incredibly fun, uh, have a good time. You will all be participating. You might not realize it yet, but it's gonna happen. Okay, there's gonna be a party in this square momentarily. <laughs> Yeah, so if you like hitting things, if you like shaking, if you like scraping, this is the place to be. If you like fun, this is the place to be. If you like ice cream, you should eat your ice cream right up front by this line here. It's like front row seats, have your great food, have your entertainment, this is the place. Okay, are we almost, oh, that thing. Okay, we got that, do we have anything else? We got those pads, the pads are there. Cool, cool, cool. So we will be doing a thing in this square momentarily. You'll see musicians being just about as silly as you ever see them. We enjoy being silly. So last year we did not have the capes. Now we got capes, which makes it a whole lot more fun. Okay, four o'clock, time to go, time to start a show. Cool. I think we are ready to start an exciting, amazing show here in the square. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Woo! Are you ready to see something incredibly fun and silly? Yeah. Okay, well, I still don't think we have enough people though. So, my friend, Melody Maverick, could you call up an audience? Call up your friends. I have no friends, please call, call yours, please. It's ringing, okay, cool, it's ringing. Here. We have here the Beat Berserker. We have the Melody Maverick. And I am Professor S. And we are here today to share a joyful, awe inspiring, connecting experience through music with you to inspire you to develop your own amazing skills and powers. And also, to educate about our percussion instruments, and in particular, the marimba. <laughs> so, we have shared this in many places before. Uh, I used to just tell the story about marimba and percussion on the side of the street, at places like farmer's markets and wherever. Now, do you know what's more fun than just talking about marimba and percussion? Playing it, yes, you're gonna do that too, okay. You will do that shortly, but also, rapping about it. You gotta tell a story, it is so much more fun in rap form. So, we will tell the story, and you will become percussionist with us today at the Edmonton Fringe Festival. As soon as my 
friend, the Melody Maverick, starts playing the right song. That is not it. Try again. I know it's your favorite song. It's wrong. Try again. Better. May I have your attention? May I have your attention, please? Could I have all the children please come and grab some shakers now? Come grab some shakers. Okay. This is a fun part. Okay. If you like to shake, this is the place to be. Come grab shakers. Come grab shakers. You are a part of this. You are making music with us. You are becoming percussionists with us today. Okay, come grab some shakers. Okay, wow, yeah, so many shakers. Good thing I just ordered a thousand more. <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If any adults would like shakers, you can shake too. If you play music, you will never grow up. Okay, anyone else want some shakers? Anyone else? Come grab the shakers. The shakers are on the front. Okay, come grab shakers. Anyone else want shakers? You want a shaker? You want a shaker? We've got two buckets of shakers. I got a thousand more backstage. Okay, anyone else want some shakers? Come grab shakers. Come shake along. You get to become a percussionist with us today. We are percussionists. And you can be one too. Here you go. Anyone else want to shake? It is time to shake. It is shake o'clock. Okay. Okay, so many shakers out here. Anyone else? Okay. I will leave this bucket here. You can just come grab one. Come shake along. You can borrow them for the whole song. Uh, at the end of this, as long as you make a minimum $10 donation, so you can walk away with one, if you'd like, with a donation. Cool. Shakers here. Come grab shakers. Oh my goodness, will I run out of shakers this time? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, come shake, on your own time, grab one, anytime during the song. Y'all act like you've never seen a marimba before. The grand piano of the jungle, a dial phone before. It came out of Africa, then opened new doors. Through Latin America, that's an orchestra store. In 1896 or maybe 1893, they added on a second row of keys. And now we can play all the sweet melodies Like a guitar or piano, what do we please? We all act like you've never seen a rhythm so tight Four mallets in our hands, like a chordal delight We're drumming on roads with all day and all night Playing open air is the real street fight Four of the beat makers, the real beat makers All the other players are just imitators Who want the real beat maker? Please shake now, please shake now, please shake now Four of the beat makers, the real beat makers And all the other players are just imitators Who want the real beat Please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. Woo! I see some people here who are most excellent at shaking. If you, small people, become inspired from this shaking, hitting, scraping experience, you might consider growing up and being just like us and pursuing a lucrative career of music on the side of the street. <laughs> It is a great job. It is the best job. We get to help people feel good. We try and make them smile. It is a good time. That's what we're doing in the arts. Trying to make people feel good. The people who hit things are the heart of the band. They put a lock in the pocket. They're the rhythm command. Put more and more gear in the hitting wonderland. Put a logo on your shirt. Now you're starting a brand. You hang with an orchestra. You hide in the back. Your tambourine can be quiet, but it takes an impact. The boom of the bass drum and the roar of the gong. Bicorn, you play the effects strong. Percussion is anything you hit, shake, or scream. Drum, cymbal, guiro, and the three sided shape. Now, if you spell like a part of this landscape, the all the spot is weekly crew, my table tear up on your drink. Who are the beat makers, the real beat makers? All the other players are just imitators. Who are the real beat makers? Please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. Who are the beat makers, the real beat makers? And all the other players are just imitators. Who are the real beat makers? Please shake now, please shake now. Okay, jam portion of the song. Somebody want to play bongos? Okay, come on up. The bongos are here. Feel free to rock out. You hit the bongos with your hands, not with sticks. We have a guero player in the house. You get to scrape. You want to scrape? Okay, scraping is so much fun. Okay, how about a mini guero? There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Maracas? Oh, uh, there you go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yesterday. That's okay. Apparently at a $40 donation, that's fair.
with a rubber chicken. Someone can just go nuts with this. Ooh, this is risky. This is risky. It is an odd percussion instrument. Okay, go for it. Okay. I think we're out of things. Excuse us today. Uh, we did earlier in this bridge festival pass out the cowbells. We have learned recently, though, the cowbell. You can, in fact, have too much cowbell. So we don't do that anymore. This is where the percussion inside you is found. So where the beat makers, the real beat makers, and all the other players are just imitators. So where the real beat makers, please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. So where the beat makers, the real beat makers, and all the other players are just imitators. So where the real beat makers, please shake now, please shake now, please shake now. So where the beat makers, the real beat makers, and all the other players. Great job, kids. I guess there's a little percussion inside of all of us. So, when I finished a university music experience and I learned to play this instrument, I, I asked myself, where does one play the marimba? And I would take the marimba to farmer's markets in the Edmonton area and go busking, playing classical music like Bach and JBC. But do you know what's more fun than doing everything in life on your own? friends. So, slowly, from university and professional music experiences, I began forming a band. And now, with the Beat Berserker, the Melody Maverick, and myself, Professor S, we have formed the Sticks and Stone Percussion Team, able to share music at festivals like this, and birthday parties, and barbecues, and everything. We play for every kind of event. But no matter what we have done, there is one song people have requested from the marimba over and over and over and over again. Can anyone guess what it might be? Yes? You forgot. Sorry? That is correct. Have you heard us play before? No, you have not. You just know. Everyone just knows. We've done some pretty cool, hip, esoteric stuff. But actually, everyone just wants to hear Under the Sea. That is correct. So. We will go again. The number one hit for marimba and percussion. A one, a two, a one, two, red. Hey, you beat berserker. No, you do not play the marimba with drumsticks. Bad percussionist. You will destroy my incredibly large and expensive instrument. No, try again. Get it together. Here we go. No, no, no. Beat for Circer! Those are boom whackers. They are used in an elementary music classroom to play melodies. No! Try again. There are a lot of things in that stick bag there, Beat for Circer. Wow. Well, you've been What? What is? Is that a spatula? No, you don't stir the marimba. Come on. Try again. Ah, those are cool, but they're not... I, I don't know where you found them, like maybe on a concert bass drum, but no, not on the marimba. Come on, I know we tricked you into playing the marimba, you just wanted to be a drummer, but like, we've all had that story. Come on. Okay, yes, we play the marimba with mallets. Very good, Beat Berserker. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, here we go.
is the number one hit for marimba and percussion. So, in 2017, we made a do-it-yourself music video of this song and posted it on social media. And a lot of people clicked like and share. And I have no other explanation for why. One month later, we were contacted and asked to perform for an international curling competition. Here in Edmonton, the 2017 Ford World International Curling Competition. And voila, the Sticks and Stone percussion team was born. So, let this be a lesson to you. If you develop a unique skill, if you develop a unique power, and find the right way that it might be shared with the world, you might find yourself called into action. So, train hard, work hard, develop your skills, develop your power, whatever it might be. Perhaps you might not do something so lucrative as play music on the side of the street. Perhaps instead, you might choose to study medicine and gain the power to heal people. Perhaps you might practice law and fight for justice. But whatever you do, practice kindness and generosity so that you might help others feel good and help others develop their own powers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so now, speaking about unique skills and powers, we are about to see a unique power of our friend, the Beat Berserker here. All right, everybody. So for the next part of this show, the Beat Berserker is gonna do something you've never seen before, because he is simply the only one crazy enough to do it. He is going to be doing skateboard tricks while he plays the marimba. This has never been done before. So. You may ask yourself, did the Beat Berserker not injure himself doing this, these tricks? And the answer is yes, he could injure himself. You may also ask yourself, did the Beat Berserker not damage the instrument? The answer is also yes. And you may also ask yourself though, did the Beat Berserker not accidentally launch the skateboard into the shins of Professor S? The answer is also yes. However, the difference is, the Beat Berserker is wearing shin pads, and Professor S is not. So, every time the Beat Berserker lands a trick, I want everybody to clap as loud as you have ever clapped in your life. It'll be worth it, trust me. And then, but if he misses a trick, do the same thing, to make him feel better, okay? Okay, here we go.
for many years now. We, Sticks and Stale Percussion, have been bringing our musical fight to the streets of the Edmonton area. And we do this because we believe the beautiful, magical sound of the marimba should not be heard only in fancy venues or academic institutions, but should be enjoyed by the people. Now, through with music, we are fighting many things. We, our percussion team through music, we are fighting the dissonance of division. We believe that music has the power to bring people together and to unite people. Through music, we are fighting the noise of modern life. We believe that music can provide a comfort and escape from the demands of our world. And through music, we are fighting the silence of indifference and apathy. Because if grown men wearing capes playing a giant xylophone on the side of the street does not make you feel something, we're not quite sure what will. <laughs> However, maybe, just maybe, if we were to play this giant xylophone in ways that no one had seen before, maybe we might be able to make audiences like you feel something.
can just take a short step back. Uh, so this little line here is our performance space. So if you kids can just take a short step behind the circle, that would be great. So yeah, we are having so much fun. Are you guys having fun? Yeah, awesome. Hey, did you know you can't spell funding without fun? <laughs> Hey, so we, uh, if you are not familiar with the street performance thing, uh, we are actually only paid through whatever you guys choose to donate here. Uh, so we have in fact paid to be here at this festival. So uh, we really appreciate uh, whatever support you might be able to give. And on this note, we are collecting pictures of British royalty and Canadian monarchs. So, if you have any of those on a plasty piece of paper, we really appreciate it if you leave those in our buckets before we leave. And personally, my favorite color is red. Okay. So, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So now, we will demonstrate the power of music to unite the people by playing the most rocking marimba band tune.
so much fun. We will be moving on to our final number. So, do you want to see the craziest thing you've ever seen on the marimba? Yes. yes, okay. So, this piece, we will be running around the instrument. We will be drumming on the instrument. And then, at the end of this song, I, in a death-defying leap, will fly over the instrument. Now, there are many things that could go wrong. Number one, I could jump over the instrument, fly, and then land on a small child who had accidentally walked a little too close into the square. So, we do have this circle here. You, you might want to go outside of the circle for your own safety. Just behind the rope. Oh yeah, behind the rope, please. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. I could jump over the instrument and then Break my land, legs upon landing. This would be bad. Okay. I could jump over the instrument and successfully land, but then trip and fall, and then break my ball with my arms, and then break my wrists, and then be unable to play any longer. I could jump over the instrument and then catch my feet on the keys of the instrument and then trip and fall forward doing a face plant, getting an up close view of the intricate pattern of these bricks. I could jump over the instrument but miscalculate and actually land on the instrument and then destroy my large, beautiful, expensive instrument. Don't do that. No, that's bad. You're right. I won't do that. That's not going to happen. But it is risky. So, if you think this risk is worth something, <laughs> consider that the typical price of a band at a bar would be $20 or also a fringe ticket here. And I do feel that possibly the risk of destroying this large, beautiful, expensive instrument that no one in their right mind would bring outside of a concert hall. <laughs> I feel like that could be worth at least $20. And if you feel able to make that donation, then one of the three of us will be able to have dinner tonight. Woo! Now, if you feel that this risk of destroying this instrument on top of, you know, all the playing gimmicks, if you think this is symphony value, which is actually the only other place you'll see this instrument, um, if you feel it is that value, then after I fly over the instrument, you will come and give the starting price of a symphony ticket, which is $50. And then two of us will be able to have dinner tonight. Woo! Woo! Now, if you feel that we are Taylor Swift value, then as soon as I fly over this instrument, you will rush forward and fill our buckets with $1,000. Or alternately, make that same donation by web link, or QR code, or e-transfer. And if you don't know how the internet works, you can just throw your credit cards into these buckets. That'll work. Okay. In all seriousness though, we haven't had a $1,000 donation yet. Uh, maybe you hire us to play for an event, that's, a, that's another thing. I was really honored when my next door neighbor gave a $50 donation here a few days ago. That doesn't happen often, but it helps us so much. Uh, in all honesty though, she has been seeing us play in front of her house for the last couple of weeks, and she is an elementary music teacher. <laughs> uh, but regardless of whatever you're able to donate, uh, we just really appreciate you being here. Your presence is a present. Uh, and if you aren't able to give anything, if you just come up afterwards and give a compliment, if you say, hey, we enjoy the show, we really appreciate that. And the way this works, any of the street performers here will tell you that this is a performance for the people. And we believe that the people who can pay will pay for those who cannot so that we can continue doing this. Now, as we move in to the most epic marimba band tune of all time, I think we need a unison clap from this audience to give me the energy to, well, for us to play the, the song, but then also for me to fly over the instrument and then carefully avoid killing the children who run into the circle. Uh, that's dodging while jumping. Okay, so unison clap. 
Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Okay, okay. We got this. Hey, can I tell you a joke? How do you know if a drummer's at your door? Oh, wow. The knocking speeds up. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one.
close, it's close, it's closer than it was. Wait, go forward a little bit, go forward a little bit. That's slightly weird. Oh, we're gonna knock over the sign, aren't we? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Thank you, people of the Edmonton Fruits Festival. Thank you for being with us here. It has been so lovely to share all this experience with you. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to make any donation, it helps us out so much. Uh, in the buckets here, if you have made at least a $10 donation to our performance, you can walk away today with one of these shakers or a CD. I actually, it looks like we're out of the music educational coloring books. So I taught myself graphic design last summer. If you want our music educational coloring book, you'll have to check us out online, where we're everywhere on the internet. You can find it on Amazon. It'll be at your place tomorrow if you order it today. Your if you have pride. I like your performance. Uh, yes, if you have made at least a $10 donation towards our performance, I like you can walk away with a shake. Oh, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. It's been so fun sharing this experience with you here. Uh, if you, yeah, if you put in a donation, that's cool. Thank you so much. Uh, we are also at the St. Albert Farmer's Market next Saturday. And if you would like a much calmer performance, you can come to my backyard concert on the Sunday. It's all online, on the internet. We will also be at the Strathern Art Walk uh, the following Saturday, and the Kaleido Festival the Saturday after that. Thank you for being with us here. We are sticks and stone percussion. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, sure. Sounds good. If you have made at least a $10 donation towards the performance, you may walk away with a shaker. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are sticks and stone percussion. Everywhere on the internet, the Instagrams, the YouTubes. Uh, the easiest way to keep in touch with us is our email list from our website, too. So. Find us everywhere. Invite us to your next birthday party. We do have a YouTube channel. Yeah, Six and Stone Percussion. We are on YouTube.